Hold on to your butts. These are the Squashbuckler Diaries. Welcome back. My name is Guy Hasson and you are listening to the Squash Buckler Diaries, the epic, massive tale of Joy Shelley's life in her father's dream. And each time we're covering just a little bit in season two, we're covering ages two to six, not sequentially. Last time we did age three, now we're doing age five and a half. And each time we discover something new about joy and what it's like to be in a dream. And what is the childhood like of a future heroine who may possibly save the world. So let's begin. Episode 50. 50 episodes and we haven't scratched the surface. Episode 50, the flashback. Joy's age, five and a half, told by the Red Dragon. Dragon Little was almost six years old when one day Dragon Father looked at her and said, Oh my God, you're so big. They were just about to set off for adventure. Dragon Little had just put her sword back in its cupboard on her belt. Huh? She looked at him. Dragon Father shook his head. I just had a flashback to when you were two or three, I think. Dragon Little looked at him quizzically. Dragon Father unsheathed his own sword. You just held a sword for the first time, and you were like this. He let the sword throw him off balance and ran one way. Then, trying to balance it, he went the other way, always holding it above his head. Dragon Little burst out laughing, and when you held out your first gun, he sheathed his sword and pulled out his laser gun. You were like, he shot up in all directions. Whoa, 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 he mimed you being confused. Dragon Little collapsed to the floor, laughing. Once she calmed down just a bit, she sat up, legs spread, and asked, What was I like the first time I piloted the ship? The first time you were at the helm, Dragon Father concentrated, trying to remember. Oh, I know, the first time you were at the helm, we almost crashed into the moon. And Dragon Little was on the floor again, laughing uncontrollably. Told by the Red Dragon. Tags, Joy, Justin, Memories. So, we get to see a bit of the life. Dragon Little, which is what the Red Dragon calls Joy, is five and a half, which is just a small kid. But she has had so much adventure behind her. She has so much history that we keep covering. We've just started to cover it. And she has a past of, you know, holding the sword for the first time, firing a pistol for the first time, firing a laser gun for the first time, uh, helming a flying ship for the first time. And, you know, that's her life. And she grows up. And very soon, she's she's almost six. When she gets to be six, big things are going to happen. Big things. But we'll get to it when we get to it. For now, stick around. Tomorrow we have another slice of life from Joy's life called Gritch. I think that's how you pronounce Gritch. 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 Well, I'm practicing for next time. So, see you tomorrow. And for now, the credits. The Squash Buckler Diaries are written and read by me, Guy Hasson. If you want to know more about the Squash Buckler Diaries, check out the website, guyhasson.com, which is G-U-Y-H-A-S-S-O-N.com. The theme music is called Brash Gentleman and is by Thomas Herodek. I will talk to you again tomorrow in the dream. <coughs> ah okay, sorry about that.
Dragonfather unsheathed it. Unsheathed, 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 unsheathed. Dragonfather unsheathed his own sword. Gritch! 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 